Dear brothers and sisters, you know what has happened in our country, Ukraine. You know about the current situation. The war has started and my city, Kherson, is occupied. Me, my mother, my two kids and my other relatives have had to flee to Romania. In Romania, our brothers and sisters have temporarily given us accommodation and food. As the situation is currently not changing, we have to go further. We are planning to fly to Ireland. What I want to tell you about the current situation is that even though we are Christians, but because of the Russian invasion that is going on in our country, I'm not going to hide my feelings. I hate what they have done. In a result of this, we have lost our home. My father is still in Kherson. He can't flee from the city because Russian military troops have occupied the city in the same way that they have in Mariupol. Occupants aren't allowing any humanitarian aid to be delivered from any countries. The only humanitarian aid that they are allowing to be delivered is from Crimea. They do this only for the cameras because the food which they bring is all out of date. When you open a block of butter inside, it is just a piece of fake packaging. This food is just to show off in front of the media, just to show that they are providing food. But in reality, there is no actual edible food. Right now, in my city, Kherson, there are three Seventh-day Adventist churches. More than 300 of our brothers and sisters have had to hide in the bunkers. I can't speak about the other cities in Ukraine because they have the opportunity to flee. But unfortunately, people in Kherson don't have the chance. I'm asking you to pray for them as we don't know what's going to happen in the future. We hope our city won't get destroyed like Mariupol. Please pray for our country because a prayer has the power to close the sky on Ukraine.